All right, I'm Nick, out in the garage. The Hobie Mirage Lynx, this rudder system broke, legitimately. First time in the water, put the kayak together in the morning, took it to the water with my wife and my son. Put the first one in the water, put the second one in the water, was showing my wife how to use it, <clears throat> pull the cord, and it just popped out. It just popped out of there, just legitimately just pulled right out of there. Hopefully it's a simple fix. Here's a clip from the morning on the water. All right, so we're coming out today. This one has never been out of the box. Let me just pull this kayak out of the box, put it together once we got to the water. Pulled that cord to put the rudder down, and this cord just pulled out of here. Just pulled out of there, so brand new. Never seen the water. First time it ever touched anything other than the grass in the backyard, and we have failure. Fortunately, this is spring fed, so we'll just be able to push this down we'll be able to go enjoy our morning but we'll tear this apart and figure out how to fix it later hopefully now the coolest part about most rudder systems is up is up and down is down right so if you can get it in the down position it'll stay there if you get it in the up position it will stay there as well and that's no difference with this i'm going to show you guys a better clip but the bungee does all the work right the rope just tells it to pull it one direction. Very simple system though, and I'll show you with the GoPro in this clip right here. Okay, so here's another view of what I was talking about. That bungee is actually what does all the movement of the rudder. This right here, that is what is in control of the rudder. So I expect this will wear out eventually and you need to put a new one on there. That's a very, very simple and cheap fix. So this is the line that came out. When you pull this, obviously that pulls. Once the bungee comes up here, gravity does the rest, right? Same with on the way down. Super simple, very effective system. Now let's hop back over to the desk. We're gonna pull this apart and see if we can fix it ourselves. So now that you've seen those two clips, the assumption is I'm gonna be able to loosen these screws this piece will just come apart from here i'll put a better knot in there we'll hope for the best but whatever happens happens you guys are going to see it. i haven't taken it apart yet uh, i haven't called hobie i haven't looked up any owner's manual okay so they both spin so that's why i got two screwdrivers it's pretty firm but it did come it does appear to be coming undone I will more likely drop one of these screws, okay? Coming apart. All right, so we'll remember that this one goes on the left side, just a little tiny little, little machine screw. This one is actually, has threads inside of it, that goes on the right. Dang, that must be Loctite. All right, so once that's apart, hopefully this just slides out just like that. That's what we wanted to see. Okay, cool. So now you guys should be able to see there's a hole there. This hole goes through here. This is important to know, right? That way if yours breaks, you can fix it quick and easy. Should have some pliers right here. Trying to hold it up so you guys can see this. I'm gonna set it down just so it's a little easier to get started. All right, so once you have that through, maybe it just didn't tie it in a knot at all. Or maybe they're counting on it. They said like, it's kind of burnt, right? Like you burnt with a lighter. Maybe they're counting on just being burnt being enough to hold it in position clearly that wasn't the case but maybe somebody just tied a bad knot not too big of a deal we just got to get it fixed because reliability is important we're going to pull that knot nice and tight we're going to make sure it fits in there just like that you don't want it to stick out because it'll cause uh It'll cause friction when it's going up and down on that bungee. You want it to be as easy as possible. We're gonna test that out. 
Hopefully this just slides in place. Oh, messed up. I messed up. I knew I was going to do that. Dang. We got to untie our knot, which is no big deal. I'd rather you guys see this in real time than not see it at all. Learn from the mistakes. Man, I knew that and I still managed to mix it up or mess it up. All right, so first things first, you have to go through the hole in this pin or you won't have any pulley action that sense, right? Once you go through there, up over, back through the hole, use our pliers again. Cool thing about this whole system is it's just super simple, right? Uh, same thing we did before. I'm just gonna tie a very small little knot in there. Feeling pretty confident this is gonna work. I'm just gonna pull it nice and tight. One way to make sure it never comes undone again is just to give it a little bit of lighter action and that stuff will kind of actually melt to itself. I'm glad we didn't do that before we saw the pin, but it's actually the reason we didn't do it. You always wanna verify that you did it correctly. All right. We got it in there. Use our pliers just to make sure it's nice and tucked in this hole. Just like that. All right, so we're in there. We're good on both sides. We shouldn't have any friction problems. Here's the test. Slid up nice and easy. This pin originally was on the right hand side. We're gonna push that through. We're gonna take our other little machine screw Put that back in place. Get it started nice and easy. Last thing you want to do is cross thread this. There you go, pushed in place. Haven't even needed to use other screwdriver just yet. All right, now they're both spinning. We'll just give it a nice little, boom, good to go. Now, there we are back in action give it a pull i knock myself out okay nice and firm i'll put it on the kayak so you guys can see that works it's super easy all right so that's the one that was on this kayak it's still connected to the seat here's the one that we just uh took off of the or took this off and fixed this with if it's fixed Boom, good to go. Obviously a little challenging doing it one-handed. Back in action, so out of the box, it wasn't tied very well, which things happen. Also didn't have the cool Hobie sticker right there, but I don't really care about that. This cosmetics, see, could have a cool Hobie sticker, but it doesn't. It's okay, I don't care. All right, nothing to it. Very, very easy install. All you needed was two screwdrivers. We were able to fix the problem. Realistically, even if that happens on the water, you could fix it. It's very, very easy to do. Obviously, don't drop the hardware. Um, I don't think that one was tied from the factory. It's missing the sticker. Also, no big deal. Simple fix. You don't want to see that, but at least you can fix it yourself. There's no reason to call Hobie. There's no reason to call the dealership. Very, very easy fix. And the cool part about that is, now that we know how to fix it, and we know that any rope would do the trick. We could use a longer rope, different color rope, different kind of rope, and you can move that system anywhere on the kayak so you can pull it from anywhere, which is cool. Very, very simple. I like it. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, comment below or send me an email at nick at navarrekayakfishing.com.